Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to select a random element from a list using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the list that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new list object appears which is called my list. And we can print this list to the RStudio console by running line 5 of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our list contains three list elements. And the first list element contains the character string XX. The second list element contains a vector with a numeric range ranging from 6 to 3. And the third list element contains the letters C, D and E. So let's assume that we want to sample a random element from this list then it makes a lot of sense to first set a random seed for reproducibility and we can do that in line 7 of the code. So in this line of code I'm setting the seed 36958. So if you run this line of code you can make sure that you get the same result as I do in this video. And then afterwards we can apply the code that you can see in line 9. And in this line of code I'm specifying the list that I have created before. Then I'm opening double square brackets and within these square brackets I'm using the sample function to sample one element of our list. And I'm doing that by specifying a numeric vector which is ranging from the value 1 to the value that corresponds to the length of our list. And then I'm specifying that I want to sample only one of these elements. So if you run line 9 of the code you can see at the bottom that a vector output is returned which is containing the same elements as our third list element of our list. So in other words, in this case, we have sampled the third element of our list. So in this video, I have explained how to select a random element from a list using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.